While the road to middleweight Golden Glory still goes through Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles, he'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. <laughs> it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker, but he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background. Was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world and Olympic silver medalist. Was able to knock out Jacare Souza. Just a truly tremendous mixed martial artist. And since going up to 185, has truly found his groove. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says, the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row <laughs> behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? Not. This is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. One, two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Whitaker is three years his senior. He is three inches taller. McGregor will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This one's the So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Whitaker. McGregor gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh, a 
And there is the kick. That one checked by Robert Whitaker. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Good stick. McGregor's hands have never looked sharper, and perhaps it's all that boxing preparation when he fought Floyd Mayweather back in the day. He felt like a lot of that would translate to mixed martial arts, and if this fight is any indication, he was prophetic with those words. Punch is blocked. That is a stiff jab. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Elbow by McGregor. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Whitaker's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, man, head kick lands. Whitaker gets touched by that kick there. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Whitaker gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. on that leg kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh! And we got a fight on our hand! Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Whitaker gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. 90 seconds to go in our opening round. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Don't stop! Is it just a split there? Nice. Under a minute to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Superman punch now. Oh, nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, Go nice jab. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Thirty seconds to go in the round. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Let's get some offense. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, man. Got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping on the octagon. Very short. Check yourself. Before you wreck stop, stop, stop. yourself. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon.
punch into that and face this back. Right? He has no answer for your finish. He's not defending the right way. He's open. All right, DC, second round is getting Three, underway. One. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big punch land. Watch knees to the body. Nice head kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Outstanding kick there by McGregor. Oh, dude just got worked by that uppercut. His chin went all the way up to the ceiling. 71 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And connecting with a 39% accuracy right here tonight against Robert Wood. There, we'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. McGregor advances and lands flush with the left hand. Lands that left hand. He's always looking to land that strike, and he does it again in this big spot. gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, big shot land. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking from. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him. He's really messed with the game plan. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Now, Come on, let him go. Nice punch by Whitaker. Okay. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Get out of there. Two minutes now to go in round two. Right hand upstairs. Whitaker's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab this young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Let's go. Keep that footwork going. Oh, that kick is good by Connor. Straight right hand now, just misses. Final minute. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. That was a thudding leg kick. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. 
Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Two rounds in the books. Yes, All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. It is still easily matched in the fight. And this is so oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Robert Whitaker. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Pretty good right hand. John, no question. <laughs> no question. I know where I'm going. I try to make it go random, but I randomly select the Reaper, Robin Whittaker. 131 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor and landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Robert Whittaker. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Effective punch there by McGregor. Powerful leg kick lands. Back and forth we go here. There you go. <laughs> nice kick there by McGregor. Let's get some offense. Get Body some shot there. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. That's a big strike right there. Whitaker gets absolutely melted by that head kick. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Just misses there with the left. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Beautiful left hand count. Big kick. Leg kick. Good jab there by Whitaker. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Straight punch lands. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, that's a good right hand. One minute now to go in the third. All right, you're okay, you're okay. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Lands flush with that right hand. Take him down. Big 
deep head kick. Big leg kick land. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up and the boxing. And that is on full display right now. What a kick by this young man. Just Whoa! Trying to establish that jab once again. How about those five minutes? Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. I do not want you to pull off at all. I want you to keep the pressure on, fight smart. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular... This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it that at the right time. Oh, that's a nice strike. right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice head kick. Starting to bruise pretty good here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Nice punch, man. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Conor McGregor gets tattooed by that straight punch. Well timed into the body. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Stupid punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, straight right. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up? A beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Real sneaky body kick. That's a good knee to the body. Whitaker gets caught by that frustrate punch. Nice job by the offense there. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. It's such a fast leg kick. And that one was heavy. Oh! Oh, nice 
slip there to avoid the punch by McGregor. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be, man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, nice right hand, John. Swing and a miss with that punch by Connor. 20 seconds to go. Right to trip him with a left hand counter there. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Come on, let's get this together. Listen, you're down right now, but I need you to work. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Punch over the top. Nice leg kick. How about that shin? Got clipped with the right hand. He blocks the shot. He has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down for the right hand. Just shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Robert Whitaker. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did 